Welcome. Welcome. Good. Good. Our 3.30 segment features the Cyclones of Iowa State University. They're number six seed in the Midwest region. They are the Big 12 Conference Tournament Champions. They'll play in number 11, Ohio State, in Friday's second game. The head coach is Steve Prohm. The men's basketball contact is Matt Schultz. And we're going to open up for questions whenever we have one. Uh, Mariel, this is for you uh, from a very high source. What have you been able to tell your teammates about what you were able to do at Virginia and how that is related to success at Iowa State? Uh, I mean, I've just been telling these guys that we have to uh, bring energy, um, stay together, and really just take every, every, every moment, just take it in and, and just have fun. Um, I think when we're, when we're having fun and being together, uh, I think we're, we're, we're hard to beat, so we just got to keep that up. Uh, Nick, the success that you were able to experience a couple of years ago uh, with this team, how's that, how's that helped you personally? And what have you been able to tell your guys about what it takes to get to the Sweet 16? Um, I mean, that group of guys, we had really great senior leadership. Um, and I think that's, that's one thing that me and Mar tried to focus on as seniors on this team. And I think Lindell stepped up with that great, um, just making sure that we're together. Um, I mean, when we're together, we're, we're a really tough team to beat. Um, I think we just gotta we gotta stick to it and stick to each other when times get tough through the ups and downs. Uh, Mariel, if you would talk a little bit about what you've seen from Ohio State and what you remember in the games you played against Ohio State when you were at Virginia. Um, well, what we've seen is they have a, a pretty dominant uh, big man, um, so that's been our, one of our main focuses uh, this week of making it tough for him. Um, and in my past experience, I mean it was a whole, whole totally different team. Their guard play was a. Uh, a lot more focus on that a lot more when we when I played them back in Virginia. So it's a different team. So not really much I could I could take from that those Virginia games. Your turn, Lindell. Uh, Kansas City was a great weekend uh, for Iowa State, and it seemed like the smile on your face was a little bit bigger through that whole stretch. And I don't think it was just about winning. Can you comment on that? Um, yeah, we we came together as a team. You know, everybody stuck together. And I, I was I was proud of that because you know a couple of weeks back we were uh, kind of you know separate and you know that, that's what led to our, our losing drought. But um, you know everybody came together and you know everybody stepped up in a big way and you know contributed contributed what they had to contribute and uh, you know that's that's the main thing why I was why I was so happy. This is to Lindell and to Mariel. So March Madness is um, you know this time of the year is awesome in the United States. What's going on in Canada right now related to March Madness? What does it mean to uh, the two of you and to your families and fan bases back in Canada? Lindell, first, please. Um, well, I mean, it means a lot. You know, just us getting the opportunity, you know, to be from Canada and come to the U.S. and playing, you know, March Madness is, is great. Uh, I know our, our people back home are, you know, watching and all supporting us through the whole thing. Um, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what else is going on back in Canada right now, but yeah, I know everybody back home is is supporting us for sure. Yeah, like Nadell said, uh, I think we got a pretty big support uh, group in Canada just because uh, we're from two different places, um, and I'm sure both of our our cities are, are representing us the right way. And um, I mean, really, I think we, I mean, having two Canadians on our team um, that have that have a big impact on this program it really really helps our. our our uh, support support groups. So I think we have a good number of support system back there. Anything else for the Cyclones of Iowa State? All right, gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank good you. luck tomorrow. Head coach will be up at 345 sharp.
Ohio State question. <laughs> Administration. As advertised, the head coach of the Cyclones is here, Steve Prome. We're going to ask him to make a statement on his team being here in Tulsa, and then we'll go to questions. Steve, please. Uh, first off, it's just great to be here, and thanks to the city of Tulsa and the NCAA. It's a blessing to be a part of this tournament, and obviously really looking forward to a great weekend. Excited to, for our challenge tomorrow night against Ohio State, and open up for questions. All the way in the back. Thank you. Steve, what were some of the things that you can think of off the top of your head in the conference tournament that clicked so well to get on the roll that your team got on? I just think if you look at our defensive numbers, I think we got back. I think in that stretch we played, I mean, really three-fourths of the season we played really well. I mean, the last first 25 games, you know, we were 19-6. and six. It was really the last six games. You know, we went 1-5, and five, but our defensive numbers were, were really poor, especially the three-point line. We were 42% defensive field goal percentage. In Kansas City, we were 39% from the field, 29 from three, plus one rebound, and gave up 63 points a game. That's why we were very, very successful down there. And so we've got to hopefully transcend that uh, to Tulsa now this weekend and, and do it on the defensive end. But guys were connected, played the right way, selfless on offense. But defense, we had an identity on defense again. Go ahead. Up, if you would talk specifically about Ohio State and what you see from them and what your biggest concerns are about Ohio State. Well, Chris has obviously had a lot of success, you know, at Butler and then his first two years there at Ohio State. I think the biggest concern, the great thing is right away when you see Ohio State, I think it catches your guys' attention right away. Big Ten, obviously, great respect for that league and for their program. Uh, but Caleb Wesson is number one. I mean, that's what people talk about the size, the physicality, ability to score. You know, how are you going to defend him? You have to make a decision on that. Uh, but they also got some other guys, I think, that are playing really well right now. Woods is playing terrific. C.J. Jackson's playing really well. Um, and so, you know, we've got to do a really good job on those guys. Um, we can't get spread out. You know, defensively, we've got to have a great identity again. Uh, we've got to guard the post. We've got to be great post defense, ball screen defense, and finish plays. Uh, but Caleb's the big key. But I think they've got some other pieces around that have some experience from a really good team last year, like I touched on with Andre and CJ, uh, that we've got to do a great job with those guys as well. How did winning the Big 12 tournament by winning games in different ways? You shot great the first game, and then you couldn't make shots really a lot the other games, but you've toughed it out. How important is that heading into the NCAA tournament? Well, I think it just, I think one of the moments that great part of the Kansas State game was we're down five with three minutes to go and you know we have we call timeout and we we're able to come out and Nick gets fouled makes two free throws but I think it shows our guys whatever the position we are in this tournament we just got to keep playing we got to keep grounded stay focused on the next four minutes stay focused defensively and then the offense will come and like you said I think we touched on we won the Baylor game a certain way and I thought we guarded well but we really we're really good offensive against them. Kansas State, the second half, it was just a fist fight. Uh, and then Kansas, it was a little bit of both. But I do think we won a lot of different ways. It shows us that we can win different ways. And in tournament play, you're going to have to play in the half court at some point. And so we've got to be dialed in to not just offensive execution half court, but, but defensive execution.